odd, it's Valentine's Day, and I have no one to be my Valentine. Which is kinda sad, I could ask that big head Mexico by the name of Dora if she wants to be mine. Hey, Dora. Just this I was looking for, I am mean, Mexican big headed girl I was looking for, no, no I meant girl I was looking for. Yeah, I heard what you said, what do you want bald kid? I uh, wanted to know if you want to uh, go fishing? No not that I meant, take your socks off and have a sock fight with me, no I meant be my vantine and go on a date with me. What's with that look, look on ice? Ah, uh, Earth to Dora, do you read my bold lips communicating to you, Earth to big headed Mexican? Earth to Dora, answer me dammit. Uh, because you are kind of weird, Kalo. Why would you be asking me specifically about being your valentine? Whatever happened to that girl version of you, Kaloette? Kaloette, she took a taxi to New York, and is living there now. And because you are the only girl around that I know that doesn't call the cops on me whenever they see me. Well to be fairly honest, I was going to be Boots's valentine, but he has probably cheated on me with that girl monkey, ugh. Stacy. She makes me pissed off. Well since Boots is not an option it seems, would you be my valentine? You will not regret it. Well, I guess so. Do you have anything stored in your bald ass that you could give me as a present other than your crab? Yay, hold on. Well, I have this box of chocolates. I was going to give them to Kayla if she ever turned up here. But, I guess you could have them. Oh my god. Holy crap, chocolates? I haven't had chocolate in over six years, my mother thinks sugar kills people, but hey, thanks. Well, no problem. But also, would you consider going out with me? Yeah, sure, whatever. I just love these damn chocolates. They are better than my Brussels sprout cake my parents give me and my siblings every night. Do you want to have a premarital kiss? Sure. Screw it. Promise me you will leave me in peace afterwards to enjoy these chocolates. Okay, that's good enough. I am going to now eat all of these chocolates in peace. Well, that pretty much made my day better. I got kissed by a big-headed Mexican. And I gave her my crap covered chocolates, which was supposed to be for Miss. Martin. Wait, what? I gave her the wrong box. I was supposed to give her the box that was in my left pocket with the correct chocolates, I gave her the prank chocolates instead. Damn it. Kalo? You piece of shit. Why would you put your crap in here? What kind of sick person are you? Kalo, you are such a prankster. That's it. I can't believe I had my Valentine's Day sabotaged by a bald kid like you, that's it I'm calling your parents. Would you like the other box, that box I gave you by accident were the ones to miss. Martin as a prank, I swear, I didn't mean any harm this time being the troublemaker I am. I don't want to hear it. I can't believe Boots is cheating on me with a girl that's his own species, and you gave me crap covered chocolates as a sick prank. Hello, is this Kalo's parents? So Kalo pranked me by giving me crap covered chocolates for Valentine's Day, and he also put his bald lips on mine. Can you please pick him up? Kalo, let's go home right now. Kalo, how dare you give Dora crap covered chocolates on Valentine's Day as well as putting your bald lips on hers. That's it, you are grounded for 25,000 years, go to Ui room now.